this vlog in the morning but let me switch up this aircon i did mean oof, to start this vlog off in the morning but i was in such a hurry sana and i don't want to leave unom kosi waiting for me <laughs> i don't want to leave the bay waiting for me so i thought you know what let me go to this brunch date and i'll start the vlog there with like some b-roll but anyways welcome or welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here my name is dz we do lifestyle content on this channel and every now and again in Dase, we also do girl chat beauty videos homemaking videos so if that is your type of vibe if that's the type of content that you're interested in i really hope that you subscribe to this channel and that you enjoy what we have going on here and join the community so like I said, I just finished a brunch date with my friend Ukosi. The restaurant we were at is called Aduna Bistro. It's in Mauro's Arc. I'm actually still there now. I'm about to drive home, go home to my man charm. But we went to Aduna Bistro. It's at the African Pride Hotel in Mauro's Arc. Sana, what a beautiful beautiful restaurant. To be honest, a lot of the restaurants in Mauro's are beautiful, but Aduna Bistro Sanda, Sanda, what a beautiful restaurant. I'm so glad, of course, you brought me here. And then I'm going to come back here for one of my solo dates. Best believe in this Abuya Apa for one of my solo dates sometime during um, the next couple of weeks. But yeah, we had brunch. I'm going to head home now. I don't think I can actually vlog beyond this point um, because I have quite a bit of work to do when I get home. I need to edit tomorrow's vlog. I've only done about 20% of the editing, so it's possible that I'm going to be editing well into the night. So I just wanted to come on and say hi. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a good start to your year. Today is it's well into january it's the 20th of january today so i hope you're having a well start into the year i hope you've been enjoying the content that we've been serving up so far um and thank you so so much for returning to, returning to come and watch another video and if it is your first time welcome waiting don't be welcome welcome um with that being said actually i'm really interested to hear guys i've been brainstorming this past couple of weeks um, about the type of content I want to incorporate into my vlogs as well as um, sit down content so if you could let me know in the comment section what type of content you like in vlogs like do you like educational as content like when I do a voiceover um, do you like encouragement at uh, esque content or do you just like like just general everyday life personally i like general everyday life type of content when it comes to vlogs i want to see people 
do their shopping, cook a meal, do their laundry, try on clothes that they bought, have lunch with their friends, have dinner with their husband. Like that's the stuff that I like to see in vlogs, like normal everyday life things that I do as well. Um, with, a, with a hinge bit of like aspirational stuff. Um, so let me know the type of stuff you like to see in vlogs and I can kind of try to work out What's that? Oh, it's this camera. I can kind of try to work out how I can incorporate that um, Yeah, let me know and then let me know also what type of sit-down videos would you like? Yeah, there's so many ideas that I have, but it's also quite difficult to gauge what it is that people like to watch and people like to listen to. So I think it would actually be nice to get some ideas from you guys who actually do consume the content. Um, what it is that you like to, to see, what it is that you like to watch. But yeah, Kutala and Teta, that's what this vlog is going to be about. General life living. Let me go home to my man and go edit my vlog. Let me go. Let me go. Namsa, she tried to call me. Ucha, my hair. <laughs> Sana. I need to actually GPS because I don't actually even know the way home. Good morning guys today is thursday <laughs> i think i last vlogged on saturday and so i literally spent sunday monday tuesday wednesday editing the vlog the kitten vlog when me and my husband went to member so to my cousins member so i hope you can see me it seems a bit dim <clears throat> Is that better? I think that's better. It actually took me four days, guys, to edit that vlog. Yeah, it took me four days. So today is Thursday, yeah? Um, last night, after I uploaded that vlog, I was making my husband dinner. And Sana... <laughs> I was making my husband dinner, and halfway through me cooking, the power went out. And so I had to literally pause my cooking and rock on and go buy takeout so i had nandas for dinner yesterday but now obviously oh, is like half cooked so now i have to go and cook it Yo, 
but what i've decided to do is get dressed for gym because I want to go to the gym straight afterwards. I'm going to go to the gym for a couple of hours, not just to work out, but also because I need to do some work. Um, I need to edit some reels and I just need a change of scenery. I feel like I've been stuck in the house. I think literally since Saturday, I haven't left the house. I haven't gone to the mall. I haven't <laughs> done anything except edit that vlog. So, and rest, obviously. So I'm going to go to the gym. Sana. As knowing I, I have not brushed it in like days. And to be honest, it's probably true that I haven't brushed it in days. I think that's fine, eh? Do I look decent? Presentable. Don't look like a bar. I'm gonna go to the gym to go and edit that content and then I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna come home. Um and there's some stuff I wanna do. I wanna try and clear out these drawers and this closet that's behind me that's my plan for the day i hope i'm going to be able to get through all of this yeah but to be honest if i don't tomorrow is another day oh we're finished tonight nice guy uh-uh baby yeah, yeah. don't say things like that i'm joking what are you doing we do need to get a new coffee machine yeah huh? Did you, we need to get a new coffee? Okay, let me take this coffee machine to Nespresso. To do what? To get it checked out. But what's wrong with it, Sne? Try to skate him first because it might be the problem. Okay, okay, fine. I'll go to, I'll go to Nespresso and get that descaling thing. The truth is we're living the life that we prayed for years ago. And if we continue to move as though we're still asking God for things and we still got to work towards something. You're in the here and you're in the now. Tap in. Be grateful for the prayers that were answered today because this, what I'm doing right now, is an answered prayer. How dare I not say thank you? How dare I keep moving like I didn't ask for this? No. So be mindful. Be mindful. That's all I can. And I'm breathing this in because it's hitting my heart in a way that I hope y'all are getting it. Um, because a lot of things I say, people be like, what? What, what you talking about? I, in a deep way. Go deep with your thank you. Go deep with your mindfulness. So you can see all the beautiful things around you. And you can acknowledge them. Say in my mouth. That's a beautiful rose. <laughs> Look at that butterfly. Things, The small things that make you smile. Never rains in California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so dead California The sun is always shining bright But if the sky would open up You're staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed you No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold I bet you're cold Nothing's growing where you're at 
Hot as fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even when it's 90 degrees, without me, I bet that you can get it asleep in the bed, lying awake. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know. I bet you're cold. It is hot in this place. I need to go drop off my husband's lunch. Um, he left this morning while I was still making it. So I said, "Don't worry, my love." And he's like, "Zisela, like Zisela, corner." Um, during lunch, and it's lunchtime now. I decided, you might get. Can you see me? There we go. I decided to rather do edit my reel at home instead of going to the gym to edit there. Um, I wasn't feeling too claustrophobic in the house today. So I decided to edit here. Yeah, open there, close here, close there. So I edited my reel, hence I'm only going to the gym now. But I'm first going to pass my husband's workplace. And luckily it's just around the corner from H&E. And I'm sitting in one lunch here. I give you tuna and I give you a glass of canteen. The worry is that I have a take a lot delivery happening today. I just don't know the time, and I don't want them to get there without me being home. My chair in my office that I bought maybe like three and a half years ago broke, um, and so I ordered a new one and two days ago, and it's getting delivered today. I might not be home and they deliver it but you know what it's fine because even if I'm not home they can always come back tomorrow but I'm gonna try be like at the gym for max an hour and then come back I am also quite hungry to be honest so I hope I don't feel lightheaded during my during my workout <laughs> oh that that's I think it's on the other side of the building. Are you off? Yes. Why well, are you and I still have lunch together? No, I also have a meeting now. A meeting. Yeah. I see you talking to yourself there. Eh? <laughs> 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 you. You're such a troll. Okay, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Pleasure, my darling. I'm going to the gym now. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure, love you. Oh, tell me you're going to come home. I'll let you know. Hmm? Okay. Sure. Sure. Yo, okay. Then your chima guys, when you are a hot girl, you are a hot girl. Speaking of being a hot girl, actually, guys, I've been thinking about rehiring my trainer from like two years ago, oh Mike. And luckily, he's at the the Virgin Active that I used to go to when Bas and Ashley used to stay the other side. Um, but. But my friend, of course, that I was having lunch with on Saturday, she told me that apparently if you have a virgin active collection If you have a virgin active collection membership, you actually can go to other like normal virgin actives So I can go to like Waterfall, I can go to uh, Resantin, I can go to um, Sunning Hill, Morningside, like Zong, yeah, Bryanston, I can literally go to any Virgin Active that I want to go to. And I was under the impression that you can only go to Virgin Actives that are like collection. You know what I mean? But you can actually literally go anywhere. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and go to the Reformer Pilates classes at my previous gym because 
the classes at Alice Lane don't look very exciting unless maybe I'm just intimidated because I think to be honest I'm still struggling with a little bit of imposter syndrome in that gym I'm not very comfortable not very comfortable which makes me a bit sad makes me a bit sad Sana, because I'm not going to go to the gym but I feel so uncomfortable there like I feel so out of place I feel but I think aside from that there's a there's a bit of imposter syndrome that I'm still struggling with but it's fine right too we'll get there um, but I'm thinking of rehiring my trainer Sana, because and I think it's mainly because I don't know how to exercise for my size i think i used to be like a, a super diligent like gym bunny girl when i was much smaller and now that like my body's so heavy that my joints are so sore i don't know how to exercise in a way that's still comfortable but effective hence i just end up walking on the treadmill or i end up just doing cardio and i don't want to be out here doing cardio because as i lose weight you know what i mean i want to be in and funba flappy and so i have to continue uh, i think like, am i lost i think i'm lost how do i get to the gym guys you know like i only i you know like guys i only know the way to the gym coming from home i don't know coming from that side i think it's like Okay, let me try find. Uh, let me try find my way back. There's no one. There's no one. Yeah. I don't wanna care so much, cause I really care too much. It's all just overwhelming. I'm just overthinking. I feel like I'm too much. Keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition And stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition Logically, I know I shouldn't feel this way But my body doesn't agree with my brain I'm looking over my shoulder Worrying It's not even morning, let me not lie to you, yeah. <laughs> it's half past two. I don't know if you can see that. It's literally half past two. Guys, I live vlog, I am be the way that I had anticipated. This week I struggled so much to vlog because I was not feeling well. I had it period pains as for my as well going son, so hmm. I couldn't vlog. I feel much, much better today. And so hence, the alive, the corner. My husband and I are going to go out. We need to run a couple of errands. But in the I'm here for a change, you know. And stop looking at my problems. Um, he needs to go buy a suit. And a shirt, like a work shirt or two. We want to go out for lunch. We want to get just a couple of things. We're to a mall. So we're going to go together today. I'm not going to go by myself because it's a Saturday. Um... And I thought, Mandy vlogging. I love vlogging so much, yeah. But sometimes, e circumstances of vlog, I feel like it's very perfect for my vlog. It will make it Go on. But today is a good day. I'm in a good mood. I feel good. And so today is a perfect day to vlog, yeah. So let's chat about homemaking, renovation plans, finishing, etc., etc. So those of you guys who are like OGs and have been following me for a while will know that I started this channel when I had just moved to Johannesburg and I moved into my apartment um, that my husband had gotten for me when I got my job. He was a, a boyfriend back then when I got my job in Joburg in 2020. I moved into that apartment and I lived there by myself up until we got married. 
and we got married maybe about eight months after i moved to Joburg. so he moved in and we stayed together and the reason why we had actually signed that lease for me and we had gotten that apartment together was because we always planned see that will be the apartment that we live in when i moved to johannesburg right so by the time i moved here i moved here mainly for him um yes i wanted to live in johannesburg that had always been my plan but the reason why i executed it at that point in time was because of him i wanted to move here to come and be with him we we're planning to get married so i moved here <laughs> for my man so we moved here i moved here we got that apartment we got married and we had planned to stay in that apartment for another two to three years and then buy a home but we ended up buying our home a little bit sooner than we had planned to i'll put a video here that tells a full story we ended up buying our home sooner than we, what we had planned to because our landlord um wanted to sell the apartment that we we're in and saw us just move out nonetheless we bought this home that we now live in um there's a home tour i'll link that <laughs> in the cards we bought this home we fell absolutely in love with it it was within our budget and we purchased it but obviously this home is old and it was this complex in fact we live in a complex um with like a few other units it's a very small complex or like very 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 small complex and this complex was literally built in the 70s so this is a very 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 old building yes the previous owners had touched it up as i'm sure you can see the bathrooms are not like 1970s bathrooms but the bathrooms were probably done and the kitchen were probably done like 20 years ago um hence like they're not too old they don't look like what a house in the 70s would look like because the previous owners did upgrade it a little bit so we bought this house and this house is very 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 old and we accepted the fact that we would have to renovate this house and upgrade it to look like what we wanted it to look like um we had thought of buying like a new development when we were purchasing our property but we decided against that because for the budget that we had the properties that we were finding that were new and modern from new developers were just way too small and like the finishes were just so cheap and the they didn't have like a backyard and if we wanted to like um, we wanted like a specific amount of space with the backyard and whatnot and in order to achieve that with a new development we're gonna have to add like another 1.5 million to the budget that we had for our property and we're not willing to do that and in fact we didn't think it was a good idea um because of the type of financial plans that we had we had to stick within a specific budget for the home that we we're purchasing um so hence we ended up buying like an old structure and that's what often ends up happening that when you buy like new developments new properties um if you want big space you're gonna have to pay quite a lot or or you're gonna have to settle for a smaller space if you still want to stay within your budget hence some people end up buying old properties like we did and we plan to renovate this place and um we wanted to meet a couple of other financial goals when we moved in here so as you guys may have known from um my video of how we bought our home in order to actually put down a deposit on this place and pay all the transfer fees and bond registration fees etc so where to drain our savings to do that um because we didn't want to have to take debt to cover all of those expenses um we use our bonuses and other savings but we had to essentially drain our emergency savings so after we moved in we then had to rebuild those emergency savings from scratch and we spent the better half of last year doing exactly that but now obviously because we were living in this house our bills were so much higher because one thing about property ownership guys like when i walked in Uba, owning a property is just about the bond there's the bond which oftentimes in the south african context is much more expensive than renting to just to give you an example the flat that we used to rent um before we bought this place if we had bought that exact apartment from the owner who was selling it our bond would have been twice what the rent was for that place just to give you context <laughs> you know so um owning a house comes with so many expenses not just the actual bond you have to pay rates and taxes like property taxes which are like in the thousands you have to pay levies if you live in like an estate or a gated community or a complex like we do you have to pay levies <laughs> you have to pay um water and electricity and can i tell you our electricity bill for this place is literally like eight times what our electricity was in our apartment and i'm still to, we are still to figure out why that is 
we're still to figure out why it is. Yes, we have a pool and whatnot, but the pool is less than half of our electricity bill. So it can't be the pool. But nonetheless, okay, um, with moving into this place, our expenses like increased so drastically. Like, so, so drastically. But I'm so glad that we planned for it. We got advice from friends who were property owners before we got our home. Like, financial advice on how to budget for a space of this size. So we were fortunate enough to be able to absorb all of the increase in expenses of living in this place. Um, but aside from absorbing how much higher living costs, um, we spent literally the entire of last year paying off our debt as well as um, rebuilding our emergency savings. And fortunately, by the time the year ended last year, we were done with that. We completed our emergency savings, so we have a proper pool of emergency savings that we can reach into whenever life emergencies come up, um, or if one of us were to like lose our jobs. We have a proper pool of emergency savings, but more importantly than that, we are debt-free, um, with the exception of our house, obviously, because... You know, it's quite difficult. We've only been living in this place for like 18 months. It's quite difficult to pay off one and die born in 18 months. But we don't have condominiums. We don't have credit cards. We don't have loans, cell phone contracts, lifestyle contracts. Like, we don't have any other debt whatsoever except our bond. And we spent the year last year paying off all of that. Um, I'll make a video on my personal finance channel speaking about exactly how we made that happen. Um, it took a very long time. It took more than last year because we started our debt-free journey while we were in our apartment. But when we were buying this house, we had to pause that. Um, but once we got into this house and we settled, and then we picked up our debt-free journey again. And we're there now. Now the only debt we need to, fit to finish is our bond. Um, so, Sana, this concealer hates me. Hates me! Okay, I think that's, I can see better now. It's not so orange. And so, as a result, saving for our renovations, because we made peace with the fact that because this house is so old, we're going to have to renovate it. Saving for our renovations was obviously almost impossible. You know, if you're paying off like hundreds of thousands of debt and you're building an emergency fund on top of that, saving money for renovations is quite difficult. We did save a little bit um, by the time the end of the year came and we had decided we were going to do our renovations in parts and then we had like a contractor, in fact a couple of contractors come to our house to come and look at the type of project that we want to do and the type of renovation that we want to do so they can quote us. And Sana, those quotes showed us flames. Those quotes showed us flames. So we spoke with our contractor and we decided that we were going to split up our renovations into phases. We're going to do it in like four phases. So we're going to renovate upstairs. So like the three bedrooms, and the two bathrooms that are upstairs. And then we're going to renovate downstairs as like a second phase. So we'll do the kitchen, the two living rooms and the dining room. Um, and then phase three, we're going to do all the aluminium windows and sliding doors. Because the, the majority of downstairs is like windows and sliding doors. So we're going to um, renovate those. That was and, and aluminium windows and sliding doors are pretty expensive. And we did quite a lot of them. So we're going to make that like phase three of our renovation projects and then we're going to renovate our granny flat um, and turn that into like an office for my husband and I because these bedrooms are going to have to be turned to kids' bedrooms once we have children. Um, and then the bit of money we had saved at the end of last year to actually renovate upstairs, my husband and I decided to use that money for something else. <laughs> As a result, now we had to start from scratch with saving for renovations. And... I've kind of been having dark thoughts <laughs> of like ditching the whole renovations thing for multiple reasons. One, I feel like my husband and I have been working to meet financial goals since we got married and we're tired. And fortunately, we have made those financial goals. Like we paid for our wedding completely in cash. We didn't have to take our debt. We paid off all of our debt, including our cars, our loans, our credit cards. Like we paid off all of our debt completely. We paid off outstanding fees. Um, and finished is going to deserve it completely. And that, I'm not going to lie, guys, that was hard. That was really hard. And then we built an emergency savings for the second time. That in itself was hard. And then we had to build 
additional savings on top of emergency savings that was hard and then there's like the black tax we had to deal with last year that was quite like a lot compared to other years that we've had to deal with that was hard so we feel like we've just been on like a go 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 for so long depriving ourselves of a good life for so long because we have so many goals to meet and we've been trying to meet so many goals we're tired we're actually just tired so my husband and i have been talking about the possibility of just not renovating and rather just furnishing our house and and not to say that we're not going to do like anything to the house obviously like there are certain things that irk the both of us so for example the fact that the walls in this house are textured irks me a lot like irks me a lot and so i was thinking that okay you know what we could just ask our contractor to shave down these walls scrape down these walls replaster them and smooth them out and paint the whole house that's something that we can do that won't cost too much um another thing that really irks me is those cupboard doors you see how old those wardrobe doors are and guys all the wardrobes in this house look like that that irks me and i saw ulungile's have it in her apartment to her video that she didn't change the carcass of her wardrobe she just changed the doors i'm like that would be much cheaper than ripping out all these wardrobes in this house and rebuilding the entire carcass and then putting new doors we could just rip off these doors and just put in new doors that are like a little bit more modern and in fact we could do the same thing in the kitchen as well and so Omi and, and I have been toying with the idea of doing that. Um, and aside from the fact that we're just tired way too old, like constantly going, 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 financial goal after financial goal, financial goal after financial goal. Another reason why we're thinking of ditching renovations is because I don't, I wanted to wait to furnish until we've renovated. And so hence, I haven't furnished my house. We've been living here for 18 months and we're literally still using the same furniture that we had in our apartment. We haven't bought a new bed, even though we need a new bed. We haven't bought a, a, a dining table, even though we literally have a dining room and whatnot. Um, because of that reason, you know, I thought to myself, mm -mm, let me renovate my house first and then I'll buy furniture. And a few of my friends also advised me to do the same thing. Um, because sometimes when you renovate your house, the furniture that you buy doesn't work after you've renovated, especially if you're going to break down walls and change like structures and stuff, then the furniture doesn't work. That's another reason. And now I'm getting to a point where I'm sick of living in a house that's not furnished. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And I feel like we can just buy the furniture. <laughs> we can honestly just buy the furniture. Instead of trying to put all this money away into savings for renovations, we can actually just use the money to buy the furniture. Um, like bit by bit. And then... And most importantly, I feel like these renovations, you guys know that, like, I believe in family planning. <laughs> Ultimately, God is the person that is, like, in charge of when people conceive and when we have our children. But I believe that to the best of your ability, it's important to financially plan. And my husband and I had always planned that um, we'd first renovate our house and furnish it and that I would be home full time um, by the time that we have children. And now I feel like the only thing that's standing in the way of me having my kids are these renovations. It's these renovations. And one thing about me, guys, I'm getting to that point where I feel like Gifuni Ngani. and I feel very strongly about it. And I feel like a deep level of, of conviction about it. I'm still not 100% sure about the timeline. I'm still not sure about Dimitri right now. And then, you know, have a baby towards the end of the year, Ogang and Dimitri. In the next six months or going in the next 12 months or in the next two years i don't know but i i know that i want a child and i feel like these renovations are standing in the way of that and so i feel like if i can just let go of the renovations and let go um of the need to have like perfection first i can just have my babies <laughs> I can literally just have my babies <laughs> and i'm sure also my husband my husband's parents are aging quite a bit and i'm sure they would like grandkids and i want to give them that you know they've never pressurized us they've never specifically asked us or asked me about when are we having children and i appreciate that that they respect our timelines they respect our choices but also i want to i want to give them grandbabies you know i want them to be able to have um the luxury of experiencing their grandkids you know while they're still also agile and active you know because they're aging they're both in their 60s um it's time for them to be called cool, you know um 
yeah and i feel like this renovation thing that now is standing in the way chair it's standing in the way so yeah i wanted to give you guys that update um we haven't decided for sure it's probably going to take a couple of weeks for us to come to like a solid decision about what we're going to do but do we just touch up the things that irk us and then finish the house and decorate it and have our kids or Kanye, should we actually save up you know the money that's required for us to renovate um yeah another thing also is that we also feel like as much as we love this house this is not our final form you know at least we're hoping if life works out the way that we're planning we're hoping that this house is not going to be our forever home. we're still, still going to upgrade from this point and so then you know you start to question yourself about mm, should i really be investing like half a million to a million rand on renovations um alone on a house that i know is not my forever home or at least i'm hoping it's not going to be my forever home you know so yeah we're still in the midst of having those chats with umi and one way too but whatever we decide to do i let you guys know but i'm not gonna lie i am leaning towards ditching these renovations not forever but just for now ditching them so that we can start our family and so that we can finish our house and just be able to enjoy our our home imagine imagine purchasing a big house like this and then not being able to like fully enjoy it because you refuse to buy furniture for it because you're waiting to renovate you know, Marcy and I can't even sit on like our beautiful patio balcony and have breakfast in the morning because I'm like, mm -hmm, I first need to redo the tiles on this balcony before I buy us like outdoor furniture so that we can sit here on a Saturday morning and have our breakfast and our coffee when we could just buy the table. <laughs> we just buy the table and enjoy our lives, you know? Um, yeah, I think I did too much blush. I think I did too much blush. Um... Yeah, guys, that's that's that on that. Um, and I'm sure that, like, you guys can understand. I think we all live in the real world. And so, I guess, you know, it, we all can understand. You don't just, you don't just, um, especially if you're an average person like we are, you don't just buy a house in the suburbs and then have a million rand to renovate it and then another 500,000 rand to furnish it like in a period of 18 months like that doesn't that doesn't that that doesn't happen unless you're like rolling in money and i'm sure you guys can all tell that we're not rolling in money baby we're just average folks living an average life <laughs> trying to make do trying to elevate our lives whenever uh, whichever way we can and so yeah and one thing that i i i don't want to do and I've, i'm not gonna lie i've had dark thoughts of doing it but i've, I've decided against it and i'm so glad that me and one was like we're not going to do that i'm not gonna go take our debt to renovate this house i'm not gonna do it i don't think it's worth it especially after we've worked so flippin hard so flippin hard to pay off the debt that we did have to pay off our cars to then uh -uh. uh -uh. um yeah and there's a girl that dm'd me actually on instagram the other day and she was like her and her husband bought a, bought a house as well and she so badly wanted to renovate it but um she found herself depriving herself and her children of just like life and enjoyment because she was saving up in Maria renovations and guys renovations literally cost hundreds of thousands of rands to renovate a kitchen alone can literally cost you up to like half a million rand just just for the kitchen alone if you want like a really fancy one um sometimes more actually so she was saying what she found herself like depriving her kids of vacations and school trips and depriving herself and her husband of date nights and all these nice things that they wanted to do because she was so like hung gung-ho and hung up on saving for renovations and she eventually got to the point she was like you know what you know what in the midst of all of this my children are growing and my children need memories and what is the point of keeping my children locked up in this house and not even taking them out to go and enjoy themselves um because i want like marble countertops you know the marble the and it's not to say the marble countertops will never come the marble countertops will come it's just that like like i always say there is a time for everything and a season for every activity and i feel like now i want to transition into a season of enjoying my beautiful house 
<laughs> I want to transition into that. I want to buy furniture. I want to put up some wall paneling. I want to paint and like buy a new bed, new pedestals, bedside lamps, you know, a dining table, getting a fridge and all those things. And saving, Choose one. saving for innovations is, is standing in the way of that. And I'm not having it anymore. I'm not having it anymore. I think maybe once um, we've like just fixed up the things at Urkaz and we've furnished, then we can start saving for innovations again. And then maybe in a year or two or three, when we eventually put together the cash to do all the renovations, we can do them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me let me quickly fix up my hair. I think I'm satisfied with this basic basic girl makeup look. I'm just gonna fix up my hair quickly. And then we're gonna go out. Hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. I'm sure what the Mr. Malogoyas. I'm first got tips. Just leave it like this, yeah. The man of Kelly Shang is just an untired. You can't tell me. Let me go put on some serum. I think that's fine, eh, guys. Can I just go like this? Do you want to do anything more than this? Ugh, guys, I think this is fine. Do you think this is fine? I think this is fine, right? Too. It's not that serious. It never was that serious. Fragrance of the day, La Via Belle. And let's go out, shall we? Coach, 
the dress is from H&M belt is my husband is from Trinary um, the necklace is from live is it live beauty the earrings are also from live or live beauty I think it's live beauty I think it's live beauty this ring here this ring is also from live beauty this watch is from Daniel Wellington and of course my engagement ring let's go out shall we let's go out let's go out Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the back I have so much to get through. I'm going to go to the gym. I need to... Good morning, by the way. I'm going to go to the gym. I have a Clarence event tonight in the evening. And I need to buy groceries because we don't have food in this house, cha. We do not have food in this house. So I need to buy groceries. I need to make sure my husband has dinner when he comes home tonight. I need to edit a reel. And I need to prep this hair for... The event that I'm going to tonight. It is not in good condition, Cha. It is not in good condition. My roots. Oh, flip, I forgot a headband. Let's go get a headband. Hold on, let me check if there isn't one in this bag. Okay, I need to quickly go get a headband. Um, but I have a lot to get through today, guys, and I need to prep this hair, like I said, for the event tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. So they say that we must wear, I think the theme is something like classic chic. Let me just check that email from Clarence. Who did it come from? Gosh. Hi, Zizi. Yeah, ca casual chic. Okay, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think I can do. I, I think I'll just do like a satin dress and like accessorize it nicely. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> so at least I, I have an idea what I'll wear. But I just need to fix up this hair ahead of the event tonight. 
But let's go start a gym. Let me go quickly get a headband. Sam is a gym in here. As you can see, my hair is not done because while I was trying to style my hair, I burnt myself on my finger, on my thumb, and it's really bad. It's like bubbling now. So I couldn't style my hair. So I just have to accept my hair as it is. Chonga, Delina will always be my favorite, favorite perfume of all time. This perfume smells so good. Like, yo, hi, Shem. I try not to wear it too often because, son, I don't want it to finish, okay? God, I literally have to hold this ice pack. Otherwise, I'm in too much pain. The ice pack right by the gear. Please. It's right here. Okay. Put it in the plastic. Sure, sure, sure. This is so painful. Yeah. So put the plastic, lay the plastic there. Here. No, it's better here. Yeah, I'm saying lay plastic. Oh, she so doesn't make the seat wet. Yeah, so she stops smelling. Okay, baby. Alrighty, see you later. I need comfort when I come back. Because I burnt my finger. You gonna buy me snacks? It says 38 minutes, baby. Let's take M1 South Johannesburg. M1? Yeah, because so I think in the highway, you can take an exit closer to the bay. Hey, yo. Okay, baby. I'll text you when I arrive. Okay. Love you, sir. I'll probably eat at the venue, though. What are you going to have? You have the chicken egg? Indian food? Or sushi? Sushi is expensive, though. Mm, Indian food. Okay, baby. See you later. Okay, the event, guys, started at 5 o'clock. It's half past 5 now. And this thing says I'm gonna arrive at five past six. Ah, so now they were always driving this car, so now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my finger. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. How am I going? Yo, yo. How am I gonna make it through the night with this painful finger? Yo, let me phone Unamtla for some moral support. This is so painful. Okay. Oh, dear. Hi, 
Sana, I'm on the way to the event. It says I'm gonna arrive at like five past six. Sana, hello. Sana, I can't believe I'm doing this. But if it means having to stay at Sun Square, it's also fine. It just wouldn't be my preference. I have to agree, Sana. And I don't know that I'm not. Sana, how does a person get in here? Card thingy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Finding that up with sun from Lung. Sorry, what you are saying? Dear. I made it, child. I made it. I made it out alive. Let me put on the aircon. It's a bit hot in this car. And my finger's feeling better. The whole event, I literally had to hold on to like a glass. So like I said earlier, guys, I burnt myself while I was trying to curl my hair with my flat iron. And it was so painful. But it's actually feeling... It's feeling so much better now. Should I put some cold air? Turn out our savings like aircon. Guys, there's aircon in this car. Oh, it's because of this. There we go. Yeah, now I can feel it. Okay. Okay, quick, quick unboxing. The event was so nice. Um, I saw a couple of familiar faces. I met some new girlies. I feel like I should have taken their uh, contact numbers. I feel like I should have taken their contact numbers because the girls I was hanging out with at the event were so nice. And the type of girl I think I'd actually want to hang out with in general. But I don't want to like, but I don't want them to feel like they're my puppet, especially because some of them actually work for Clarence. <laughs> so they're literally like the client. Um, but it was so nice like I, it was so nice i really like the people i hang out with and we got a little goodie bag we got a little goodie bag um let's see what's in here so this is a note merci i would like to extend a heartfelt thank you for attending our cocktail evening with our clients vip guests we were thrilled to have you with us and i hope you enjoyed the time spent with all our other incredible partners thank you for being part of the special event and please share your experience and tag us at clients of south africa rachel thanks rachel and then the products that we got let's see Ooh, this is the 
double serum but i think this one is the one for just the eye in my camp let's open it oh sana i'm excited about this <gasps> guys this is the double serum from clarence and this is the double serum hydra hydro lipid uh, system this is a very famous serum from clarence um i just got the one for like the eye but there's one for like your whole face i should i think i should actually purchase it and give it a try the one for the whole face because the girls love that product the girls love that product and then what is this this is um Bane O Plantus Tonic. Okay, I must read up what this is, but it looks like it's a body product because it says here body tonic bath and shower concentrate. So is it like a shower gel? What is it? Or like a shower oil with essential oils? Oh, okay, it's it's sealed. But this is the second product. I'm definitely gonna give this a try, and the packaging is so pretty, so so nice. It comes in this green and white um this green and white packaging and this is the the bottle for it that is what is in my goodie bag thank you so much clarence for the goodie bag and thank you for such a nice event guys i'm gonna go home to my man chair i'm gonna go home to cuddles and go be with my baby i should have actually told my husband to not count me in dinner because i ate so much at this event and i had dessert as well so on the son the shooty, i guess i'll just save whatever he got for me which i think is probably indian food whatever he got for me i will just save it for tomorrow's lunch for now um but yeah this is the end of this vlog guys thank you so so much for watching thank you for coming back if you were returning for the second or the third or the tenth or the twentieth or the hundredth time thank you so so much for being a regular regular on this channel and if you are new i hope that you enjoyed this video and that you subscribe to this channel if you ever want to know how you can support a creator whose content you enjoy liking commenting sharing subscribing that is the best form of support that you can give to a creator so if you do enjoy the content please do give back by liking and subscribing thank you so much for watching guys have a good night you know go home to my man share A pretty brown girl her space you can keep your bitter i'ma make a better way 